Hey guys, it's Cameron here. Uh, I got an unboxing for you guys. My friend Tavon's over again. So, yeah. Um, this is going to be take two because I actually ha had already unboxed the game. But uh, the sound was not on. And I turned it on, but it still didn't come on like it was supposed to. But, yeah, still kind of unboxing, I guess. It's a old game for a PS3 exclusive. I have ranked this game before and it was pretty good. But this game is... Killzone 3. It does have PlayStation Boost, um, made by Gorilla Games. Um, so yeah. Uh, reason why I bought this. I have some reasons why I bought this. Um, one, a uh, 3D game. You guys may or may not know I am getting the Sony PlayStation 3D display that comes out in November. I'm not sure exactly when. I'm here November 2nd. I'm not sure that's confirmed, but when it does come out, this be a game I'll be able to play with it to see what the 3d technology and stuff another reason i get to use playstation move again this be my uh playstation uh, first playstation move first person shooter game i own i guess so yeah and the main reason for sure is that you guys may not know about this but the playstation vita has uh, uh could be connected to through remote play through the playstation 3 to um um you know do what it does normally with psp is set um hold up guys except you will be able to play killzone 3 on the beta so that'd be pretty cool and you know i already have a game to play it on when the beta releases if this is a feature to use with the beta and also a little bit playing too will also be a game so yeah but here it is sorry for all that talking just wanted to you know explain some stuff but yeah when i rent this game it was pretty cool the back it does have features like multiplayer matchmaking lobby game in game invites add-ons trophies leaderboards and voice chat and stuff like that also is a uh, sharpshooter compatible so that's pretty cool it goes up to one player just no one per console and then like online it goes up to 24 players and it requires five megabytes of hard drive space and it goes up to 720p and it's red infrastructure for blood and gore intense violence and strong language the game was pretty good when I did rent it, so yeah, I only got it for 20 bucks, so it's not bad. I should be getting another game that's exclusive to Xbox that I actually enjoyed pretty soon, so I'll be unboxing that. It's not actually in a box, but you guys will know what I mean when I do unbox it, but here it is right here. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and leave suggestions in the comments or private message me, and thanks for the support, guys. It really means a lot. That's all, and I'll chat with you guys later. Peace.